Hey guys, I'm Jandabear and this is my guide to Trail and Arcs Gold Vault. It's an event that's currently going on in Ion at the moment. Started I believe on the 23rd and will be running for the next few weeks. This is a level 40 plus instance designed for three people. Elios can pick up the quest um, just at the top of the stairs um, near Elios Square from the Shugo NPC uh, where the red dot is on this map. Asmodians, you guys can pick it up here where the red dot is. I don't really know your city all that well, so but I'm sure you know where this is. Okay, before we get started, um, I want to quickly explain the three Shugos that you're going to see when you first enter. They're dressed in uh, specific class armors. The one on the far left, he's got a shield and a sword. He's dressed like a Templar. The one in the middle, he's using a pole arm. That's the gladiator. The one on the far right, that's the sorcerer. And each of these will transform one of you guys, one of your three party members, into the corresponding class. And you will have unique skills that uh, only you can use for that class. So hopefully that clears up for some of you who haven't done this before as to why people are specifically shouting for a Templar, Gladiator and Sorcerer. They're not actually referring to the class of the players, they're referring to the roles they want you to play when you go into this uh, dungeon. Okay, let's get to it. Alright, the first thing you will notice is I marked myself. That's because I'm playing the role of the Templar. Um, just right click the Shugo and you will um, you will transform into into the corresponding class. Now make sure you all have your class and uh, your rules kind of designated before you come in. I'll explain as I go along what each of the skills do. Right, first of all, just use your number two skill, that's called provocation. It uh, provokes up to eight targets. Um, as they keep spawning on this first mini boss, just keep provoking them and then keep spamming your number one skill. Now, the number three skill is your hostage abduction. Um, that basically pulls all enemies in around your chosen target, just like that, as you saw. Um, your number four skill, this is very important uh, as the tank can go. You need to, later on at least, use it uh, quite smartly. It will heal you for 75k, or your chosen target, should you feel you need to heal one of your uh, party members instead. But for 20 seconds out of its 30 second cooldown, it will also give you 90% damage reduction. So this is really important when you're tanking some of the harder hitting uh, bosses. Um, so just keep on leading in, keep attacking, keep using all your AoEs and deal as much damage as you can. Now when you get to this chest, um, you will have these consumables. There's two different types of uh, healing potions. Everybody gets access to that. And the, and the final one is a DP one. That just uh, restores some DP. That's for your number five skill. Okay, so this is the second uh, mini boss. She will always uh, spawn the first set of ads there. They're ranged ads, so run over to them. Second set of ads will spawn over at this location. You can pull them in or run over. The boss will follow you, so it doesn't really matter too much. Then that's that's the final set of that usually before we kill her. Okay, so now over here you see a dead Shugo NPC. The little area you see us standing while talking to the NPC, that will heal you for any missing uh, health you and your party might have. So if you're going to speak to that NPC, do it from that little platform. Okay, so now you see lots of these mobs, and then you see this big one as well. You can see under their name how many points they're actually worth. Uh, so make sure you're as you've killed the majority of the 8 to 10 mobs you're pulling, you get moving to the next batch. The other ones will continue to follow as well, including the big one. If you want to achieve A to S rank, you're going to have to be relatively aggressive on how quickly and how many you pull. Bearing in mind though, some of your skills will only hit uh, 8 targets and so on, so you're kind of limited on how many you can burn down at once anyway. Right, um, so just keep, uh, keep killing, keep pulling, and the first mini boss in this room, or the first boss, whatever you want to call it, will spawn based on the number of points you have. You can see at the moment we're just above 53 points, and now the first boss has spawned. That's it up there in the middle. Mirez or Myers or whatever you want to call her. So go over here. Now, unlike the other larger mobs, you cannot pull this boss over to the other mobs at the site. Because if you pull this mob or any of these bosses that spawn at this location too far, 
they will uh, lose aggro, go back and reset. So unfortunately you have to just kill her on the spot and then start pulling again. Now what you would want to do for your S rank runs, and you do need to go with um, you do need to go with people who know what they're doing, maybe even be on team speak or mumble or something. Uh, when you're fighting that boss in that middle location, you want your sorcerer and your gladiator to be pulling the big mobs and the smaller batches around them from the left and right sides. That way you're constantly getting a feed of points. Right now we've kind of gotten over 90k, we've got this boss spawning, so I will go up here. And that's me using my DP skill. Um, so you can see down there on my action bar uh, when it's about to come off, so in case you want to use it again, you can also press it again to remove it. Um, but if you have your number 4 skill, your protective shield, you don't really need to worry about using your DP skill. You, as the bosses get harder, um, you're going to want to kind of juggle between the two of them and make sure you don't take too much damage because they will start to hit very, very hard. Okay, so just keep an eye on your points and keep clearing, keep pulling. Mobs will keep respawning in this room, as you can see. And there you have the next boss spawning. I think he spawns at 125, can't be exactly sure, but it's thereabouts, so just keep an eye out to the top of the room. And at this point, if you want to be achieving S rank, your gladiator and saucer really should be pulling the mobs from the side. Our saucer is pulling there, but uh, the gladiator, he just uh, stayed on that one with me. You want to maximize the number of points. Uh, achieving A rank isn't too difficult, to be honest, but getting S rank can be a little bit of a squeeze on time. Now this boss, um, more so than the others before him, hits very very hard if you don't have your DP skill to use or your number 4 um, protective shield skill to use. So now we're at 150k, 180k, just keep pulling. The next one I think spawns around about 200k plus, or maybe about 220. Now it is important if you're playing the role of Templar that uh, you're leading the charge, you're charging through all the mobs because your HP is uh, considerably higher than the Gladiator and the Sorcerer and you have more defensive skills. Well you can use your uh, your number 4 healing skill, protective uh, shield on somebody else. It leaves you vulnerable so it's not a good idea. Okay so this guy he spawned at over 200k points. Um, Again, if you want to achieve S rank, you really need to have your Sorcerer and Gladiator continue with the pulls from the side. Because when you use your DP skill, as I have, you literally move like half a foot um, per second. You, you're almost as if you're bound on the spot. You can't run anywhere, and even if you could, you would reset the boss. So you are forced to stay there. Now you can see it's getting uh, pretty tight on time. If the boss isn't almost dead when he starts casting that skill, then you know that your DPS are doing something wrong. So when you achieve 500 or thereabouts, this other big boss will spawn. Um, so I'm keeping my eye up towards the top of the room. 510 and there he is he spawned now this one if you have enough time and you manage to kill him and um, he will give you your s rank but unlike some of the other bosses uh, i don't know if it's this boss himself or if it's the mobs he's surrounded by but some of them use fear and they kind of like uh, stun you as well as you saw just there our sorcerer got feared away and has just charged back in with some mobs aggro to her and uh, you can see there I got uh, hit with the f uh, free skill as well. Unfortunately in this run we did not achieve S rank. But you can see how close we came. And you can get a rough idea of what's expected of your group if you want to achieve S rank. So there um, we got them down to like the last 15% or something. Now the number of keys you get for A rank is 3 and for S rank is uh, 
I believe seven keys can't quite remember okay so along with the quest um, you should have an additional key so we got four keys and um, that's just something I'm opening from the from the kind of healing camp event that's going on so that's a big chest that consumes three the smaller ones consume one now something to note is when you open one of these chests randomly you will get a golden pig uh, spawning so you kill the pig and then in the middle of the back room you will get a big chest spawning that consumes seven keys if you have them thanks for watching